we shall now demonstrate a direct SQL join query against a database. What we shall be doing is we shall create a database having two tables, perform a join, take some columns from the first one, some columns from the second one and then return the result using direct SQL query. We will demonstrate the whole process right from creating a database and proceeding till the results. Let us start. First of all, we will add a database here. Add SQL Server Database. I will call it DB Orders and click OK. This is what we get. Come to Database Explorer and uh, right click on the tables folder add new table fold it backwards and here I'll change the name of the table to TBL products having changed this name I'll remove this primary key and I'll give it a name so I've created one primary key product ID care 1 product name and where care 50 and given the name TBL products to the table now I can update the database here update database and coming to the database I can refresh it I have one table I'll add another table on the same lines change its name here TBL orders and I'll keep ID and auto numbered so right click properties uh, and put here IS identity is true I'll write here uh, order uh, product foreign key that is car1 then order order number order number I can put anywhere car 50 anything I like quickly do it and here is amount I'll put it simply int and update it against the database click update so I have two tables on my database refresh I have two tables now I'll add some entries to TBL products product ID is L name is laptop enter M mobile S software similarly I have added some call, uh, data to the TBL orders table product foreign key order number amount so I have added some records and maintained a consistency between this product ID and this product foreign key because this will be the table against which join will occur now I'll uh, come to my database and uh, right click new query I have an option of building it through query builder mm. So they have withdrawn it in this version I think. So we can begin typing the query. Select TBL orders dot order number. TBL orders dot amount. TBL products dot product name. So name from the products table. 
and the remaining two columns from the orders table. From TBL orders inner join TBL products on TBL orders dot So this is the SQL query that we write and we can give certain aliases as order I'll give it a different alias as new order as total amount as So I can now write it in a little enter like here. So it is select. So it returns me these aliases order number, total amount, name of product using the inner join syntax. Let me execute the query and see the results. So the results appear here. It is order number, total amount, name of product. So this is my SQL query that I have to run directly against the, I will copy it or retain it here for later use. Coming back to this one. Here I have to add a C sharp class first. Add class C order data and click add. To this I should fix properties for new order because these are aliases. So I will write public string new order. So this is what my class becomes. I put each property that naturally maps to the select query because the aliases they are same as properties on C order data. Having done this, now I should come to my solution explorer, add a controller as usual, add controller, change it to string and write here return get data. Once I do this I will have to public string get data now. Now what I have to do is I have to now query my database. Before that I will need a query string. So I write string, sorry con string, connection string, con string is equal to, I will come to my database explorer, right click, properties, copy it and put it in double quotes here. This I will change into single quotes and its corresponding match and put a semicolon. So my connection string is ready. Now I can write using data context but uh, this will not be available until I add a reference. I have to add a reference to system System dot this one system dot data dot link click OK and right click resolve this one so I'll write ctxt is equal to new data context and pass con string here. So once that is there now, 
now you can write where query is equal to ctxt dot execute query what is my class c order data and here I have to fit my SQL query in as a string I'll come back to my SQL I'll have to put it in one single line so I'll carefully can take it into one straight line and write in double quotes the query so my query is ready now I can write string builder string builder and right click resolve system dot text sb is equal to new string builder and for each where v in query I'll take it this way sb dot append format so I can write uh, it is uh, order number is equal to 0 order amount is equal to 1 order number and product name is equal to 2 also I am adding an HR here and now I will write V dot it is order number V dot amount and V dot name of product and finally return SB dot to string now if I run this it should return me the right output now let us run it okay so we have got it correctly order number uh, order amount and product name I hope uh, you appreciate the concept that is we had to just put pro uh, create an object any object of any name having properties just matching these as story new order total amount and all there could be nothing more clearer than this one to convince you that even the most complex of the queries can be handled very well using this polished way of executing a query against a database we executed a full-fledged select query against a database with only one line of code called execute query and obtained all the results into one collection of C order data objects and then we showed it one by one so this is the way you can execute queries directly only thing is that ultimately every select query has to return you columns or you can alias them as you like add as many columns 20 columns from 10 or 20 joins nobody bothers about that so long as your SQL server is allowing you to execute a big query link to entities doesn't have any problems so we'll close it right now thanks